Hey guys, it's Zach. Today, I wanted to talk about three legendary talents that although had a large presence in the early days of Deep Vulcan, have since either been reworked into something new or completely lost to time. Before I get started, I just want to say that if you've liked my recent videos, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. Currently, 92% of my viewers are unsubscribed, and I'm trying to hit 3,000 subs by the end of May. The first talent I'll be going over is well known. If you played during verse 1, you knew very well that vanishing follow-up was one of the strongest talents in the game. Before verse 2, when you landed a flourish on your opponent, you would get locked to them in a weird animation as you kicked them back. Vanishing follow-up allowed for you to be instantly teleported to your opponent after this animation, allowing you to continue your combo on your opponent. Without venting, this talent was incredibly powerful in allowing you to lock your opponent in crazy combos that felt inescapable without a well-timed parry. However, upon the release of verse 2, which changed the combat system, flourishes became something new. Because of this, the developers saw fit to remove the vanishing follow-up talent. As the game stands right now, there are plenty of other ways to grant yourself a teleport onto your opponent like Waywards, Static Fake Out, and the Spectre Path Aerial Attack. Honestly, I don't believe that it should be removed anymore. Perhaps, with a higher agility requirement, it could find its place back in Deep Woken as a mutual exclusive to Dazing Finisher. The next talent I'll be talking about is Exoskeleton. For those who don't know, Exoskeleton used to be a legendary talent that made it so no matter what, your character would die in 20 hits. Now, back when this talent existed, it wasn't very problematic as a lot of builds rarely relied on anything but hard-hitting single-hit moves and weapon-based combat. However, the reason why this talent was removed was because of how incredibly situational and build-defining it was. If you picked this talent, especially when there was no method of changing the talents on your build, you were totally screwed if you didn't want it. To think of this talent existing in current day Deep Woken, filled with mage builds and several multi-hit mantras and fights being a lot less streamlined, I think everyone prefers the way Exoskeleton is now. The last talent I'll be going over is Adept. Back in verse 1, when you had to progress your character all the way up to power 60, those later levels would be such a chore to get through. Adept was a talent that increased your general gain of XP, and because of this, it was seen as a necessity. If you didn't have both Adept and the Mark of the Lone Warrior on your build out of trial, you basically were forced to wipe unless you wanted an incredibly slow progression. Nowadays, with the reworked Power 20 system and the general XP gain in Deep Woken being much faster than how it used to be, there was no use for the Adept talent anymore. This is something that all older players take for granted now, but should be more thankful of the developers for. Although it still feels like a slog to get your build past those last couple levels, it used to be a whole lot worse. There you have it. Three legendary talents that have been either removed or replaced. Do you guys like the informative videos on Deep Woken's past, and if so, what else should I cover? Let me know in the comments below, as any and all ideas are appreciated. Like always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.